Are you Helen Fenstermacher? Yes. Can I help you, gentlemen? As a matter of fact, you can. We received a complaint from Susan Hawkins that your cat was reported missing. Oh, yes. How thoughtful of Susan to send someone to help. But everything's fine now. Lucky's returned safe and sound. <coughs> I'd better go. Not so fast. That complaint was filed for irresponsible posting on social media. I don't understand. Ma'am. We are the citizens for responsible, ethical, economical posting protection services. 727 last Thursday, you posted on at least two social media platforms, and I quote, Last night, my precious Lucky jumped out of the front window after dinner and didn't return. He is my life. Please keep watch. Yes, I did post that. Indeed. But when Lucky came home shortly thereafter, you did not post an update for friends and family until 10.39 p.m., thus leaving your friends to fret for over two hours unnecessarily, thus breaking Section 3, Article 7 of the Unwritten Social Media Manual for Responsible Economic and Ethical Posting. Unwritten, but it's right there. Clearly, that is type, ma'am. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, I mean, I was just so happy that Lucky returned home safe and sound, and then I got involved in watching a new episode of The Aardvark King. Did you know that your neighbor, Susan Hawkins, thought she saw Lucky run outside of her house at 9.01 p.m. and went outside to chase it? Only then did she realize it was just a raccoon. No. Raccoons can be very dangerous. Was Susan hurt? No, but she was winded from the experience and is seeking compensation for emotional distress. Compensation? How much? I'd say posting a recipe of your oatmeal raisin cookies and one less political post a day should cover it. Well, I guess. Good day, ma'am. It's Missy here. I'm just stretching for my morning run. I have so much energy from drinking my morning shakes. You too can look like this. Hello? Good afternoon. We are the Citizens for Responsible, Economical, and Ethical Posting Protection Service. Creeps? That's creeps. There are two Ps. Ma'am, you are in violation of Section 2 Article 13 of the Social Media Manual for Responsible, Economical, and Ethical Posting. Excessive posting of misleading weight loss pictures. And Article 3, Section 2, putting your multi-level marketing business above your personal relationships. <laughs> hey, look, I got a system I truly believe in. How's wanting my friends to join a crime? You may want your friends to join, but posting these photos is not helping. This one is you with makeup, and you're sucking in your gut. And this one is just of your face with an added filter. So, who's complained? It's not like I'm hurting anyone. Think again. Rusty Long and Sharon Jenkins reported that after they wished you a happy birthday on your wall, you responded with a private message stating how aging has caused you to reprioritize your life and get healthy and that they could benefit. So? It's good marketing. Clipping coupons is good marketing, ma'am. Ma'am, are you aware that Rusty is a marathon runner and Sharon is a professional lumberjack? She is very healthy. Well, what can I do about it now? You could post some updates about your family once in a while. Betty Francis is wondering, if all of this working out is frying your brain. Nana? Yes, she would like a picture of her great grandchildren once in a while and maybe include a spiritual quote to assure Deborah Crabbletree that you aren't one of those heathen millennials. And Debbie said that? We're going to have to issue a citation for breaking more than one rule. A, a citation? You mean like a, a speeding ticket? 
Yes, exactly. We are talking about the information superhighway, ma'am. Drive responsibly. Good day. I'm so glad I have the residual income to pay off this ticket. <gasps> have you ever considered the financial freedom that residual income can bring? It'll change your life. Good morning, ma'am. We are citizens for responsible, economical, ethical posting protection service. Creep, for short. Um, creeps? No. Creeps. <laughs> Two peas. Oh, great. TP. You've come to my rescue. I just ran out. No, not TP, ma'am. We are officers of the law, not philanthropists. Look. Whatever it is you're selling, I'm not interested. Not so fast. We are here on official business. You're in violation of Article 1, Section 4 of the Unwritten Social Media Manual for Responsible Economical Ethical Posting. Posting ambiguous messages about provocative things. Look, I'm going through a really hard time right now. Could you just cut to the chase? Last Friday, you posted, It's done. So? Those closest to me know what that means. Are you so sure about that, ma'am? Lester Pyle wasn't sure if you had quit your job or finally hired a hitman for your neighbor. Hitman? Lester? He's just some guy from high school. I haven't seen him in years. Okay. Candace Summers wasn't sure if it's done was referring to your roast in your oven or your rocky marriage ending. Well, it was about my rocky marriage. Thank you very much for your sensitivity. You're welcome. Now, about th this charge. Uh, excuse me? Your longtime friend, Candace Summer, was sure it was your marriage and is seeking compensation. Compensation? For what? I haven't done anything. Candace is seeking financial compensation for the expenses she incurred while attending your wedding. Expenses? My life is falling apart, and she's worried about money? $131.47. How would you like to pay? A hundred something for what? Well, there was the gift, the new pair of shoes, the babysitter, and the travel expenses. This is outrageous. Indeed. Having a destination wedding is always a strain on the guests, but you didn't think about that, did you? I got married in New Jersey. And Candace was from Delaware. And it appears many of your wedding guests were from out of state. That's like 25 minutes away. And then there was the toll for the bridge. Five dollars, that's steep. It costs money to get out of New Jersey, ma'am. I'm not paying this. This is ridiculous. I understand that you're upset. But think about your friends. They followed you and your relationship since you were engaged. It's only been 19 months. Jim was right. Candace is a nuisance. Jim, your husband. Sounds like you and him have something to talk about. Uh. Look, once you pay your fine and arrange compensation to pay Candace, we'll be on our way. Then you can call Jim. I'm not calling him. He has been a jerk. Sounds like you and him have that in common. Uh. Now, will that be cash or check? Neither. Uh, credit or debit? Go away! Looks like there's only one other option. Cyber jail. Cyber jail? Don't worry. It's a simple freeze on your social media accounts while you take the time to reflect on your posting choices. Good day, ma'am. And remember, post responsibly.